I want to talk about the tow truck driver, Nick, that came forward. What a curveball that was for me. He had some really interesting information. Let's talk about whether the information he is putting out there could be correct. Firstly, he said he got a battery call. The call came from Boca, Boca Lake. Not Prosser Lake where Kylie was eventually found, but Boca is close by. He checked out the car, and everything was working fine. He noticed the girl in the car, which he believes is Kylie, was very hesitant and asking very strange questions. One thing she mentioned was that she was there all night. The guy that was with her wore a black San Francisco cap, brown hair sticking out on the sides, and some freckles or acne spots. This description made me, and many others think of ex-boyfriend Jagger. Both people in the car seemed uneasy. During the video with AWP, Nick said he wasn't sure of the day, but thinks it could be Saturday, which would be the 6, at 11 a.m. Bure talked more about this on Zav Girl's channel. When Nick told his company that he possibly saw Kylie and attended to a battery call and she was now missing, etc., the company locked down the dashcam footage. Law enforcement is following up on that footage. Now, Nick called his girlfriend soon after the battery call. He told her about what happened just because he found it odd. She remembers clearly that it was that Saturday because it was her dad's birthday, so she definitely remembers the day. If that was really Kylie with the guy, then she was alive for hours after her phone last pinged her. That's very interesting to me. So, the guy that was in the car, with who we think was Kylie, has been positively matched. Is that Jagger? I don't know. The female, who Nick says was Kylie, they are working on getting more information on that. I'm sure they will be able to tell who that female is once they look at the footage.